queer, they won't drink youngling beer. People are now boycotting Pennsylvania's famous beer after its billionaire owner decided to support Donald Trump. Last week, Dick Yingling gave Eric <laughs> Trump a tour of the brewery, America's oldest, telling him in front of reporters, quote, our guys are behind your father. We need him in there. Social media reaction was pretty negative. One guy wrote, regularly drive 90 miles from Kentucky to Ohio to get Yingling. But supporting racist, misogynist nut job, Trump is the end of the line for me. Another tweeted, hey, Yingling beer, you're fired. Another said, wow, last day I drink your product. Don't do politics, ruins business. And it could affect business. Pennsylvania's first openly gay legislator announced he was boycotting Yingling after 17 years and asked Philadelphia gay bars to take that beer off their taps. Several agreed, including this one. We're saying goodbye to Yingling here at JR's. Just so you know, when people support things that don't support us, then we don't support them. So goodbye, Yingling. You are the weakest link. Wow. Oh, that really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? When people support things that don't support us, we don't support that. What was that, Cass? I don't know. I've had fun at JR's before. <laughs> uh, but is this a, I mean... It's stupid. Because, okay, like, nobody cares really that much, right? Like, if it's Donald Trump, you think he's sexist, you think he's this, he's a bad guy. There are, I, I, there are probably, you know, people in power a lot of times do bad stuff, first of all. And second of all, I'm sure a lot of these, you know, people that are complaining are, like, sitting there with, like, their little fedora on that was made in a sweatshop in Bangladesh. Like, shut up. Oh, shut yes. Up. Yeah. The Ironically, old there's, there's, hipster yeah. sweatshop yeah. fedora. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no better gay porn star name than Dick Yingling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but did I did I miss something here? I've never thought of Trump as being homophobic in any way. Didn't he? Isn't he in favor well, of gay Everybody that has Trump denounced homosexuals. Why no. are all the gay people denouncing Trump Everybody that now? loved Trump and went to Trump's wedding and went on his TV show and hung out with him and wrote songs about him now has decided he's Hitler. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, all of the people. But the log cabin guys, they yeah. said no to Trump. They're, they're, they unendorsed him or didn't endorse him, mm. despite saying he's the most pro-gay Republican in history. That's what they said. He's for gay marriage. Why are they denouncing him? What he's, he's done is he's, he's, he's you know, paid lip service to probably more of the extreme elements in the conservative party. And the, the, those people worried about Supreme Court judges, that it may reverse things or whatever. Um, and I think that's probably why they're upset. Uh, but I love the first tweet from the first guy who was like, uh, regularly drive 90 miles to get uh, beer, but won't be doing that anymore. It's like, oh, good. Yeah. It's like, oh, great. Like, I've never I'm been glad, a game right? I've never been Saved your yeah. life. Like, I, I regularly drink beer with my, you know, regularly drink yeah. gangling with I, my son and at I breakfast. Thought, yeah. but I, I thought all those progressives were like New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc pansy white wine yeah. drinkers. I didn't well, know they were. I, that's right. Did they eats. lose? Do, do think, you think the, it was a big gay beer, Yingling? Well, <laughs> the interesting thing is it shows you how the power of the market because sales of Leather Daddy Lager are through the roof. Yeah. They've really yeah. taken yeah. off. Yeah. This, I don't mind this so much as um, it, it's, if you don't support someone and you don't want to buy their product, that's, fine. that's, that's yeah. your right. And if you want to not patronize places and service, that is entirely right. But it's not going to end there. And I'm waiting for how long it's going to take before the trucks get vandalized, before before the windows get broken, because the left can never stop there. The left can never stop with, well, I'm going to stop doing something. It has to become, everyone has to stop doing this thing that I disagree with. And it is the left, isn't it, Kat? I mean, you don't, you got Starbucks. Basically, every Starbucks is a, it's like a little DNC. You mm -hmm. ever go in Starbucks? Oh, They're so <laughs> pro-Democrat. They always have been. But I don't see right-wingers going crazy. Maybe they don't, you know, uh, maybe some people hold it against them, but they're not they going crazy. Really. They don't really. Well, because it's just, you know, it's uh, so much easier to say, well, you know what I'm going to do for charity? Never drink Yangling again. Yeah. Yeah. But like, for the, the children. I'm, the only time the right went nuts was that Christmas thing. That Starbucks was the Starbucks took, Christmas yeah. cup. Yeah, they took Christmas off the cup, and then everybody's like, what is this? They took the snowflakes off. It that is was true. One time they did go, they did I have been it. drinking Coors beer for years because they're the first Republican brewers, the Coors brothers. They've been supporting Republicans since Chester A. Arthur. That's my beer. Right. Really? Yeah. yeah. They go all back to Arthur. companies homophobic, their food is better. 
Chick-fil-A mm. is homophobic and their food is phenomenal. Delicious. It's really good. Like, yeah. I like a sandwich Although, made wait. with hate. I, you know, the, the funny thing is, you're, gonna, you're not going to uh, hold anything against Chick-fil-A, but the thing is, I don't think what you said was very accurate. The one guy, the guy who owns it, is a kind of like, you know, he made a statement one time about his own personal belief, but the company is I quite... I don't care if the guy who owns it locks people in that ISIS flame cake. <laughs> the sandwich is good. Okay. Okay, but I think the company Please. is all right. They're all right. It's all right if you're gay and you work at Chick-fil-A. It's a great place to work. Okay, come